Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to drastically improve your website's on-page optimization. If you want to fix your website's on-page optimization and you want to know where to put the keywords and the H tags and the titles, and you want to rank in the Google three pack, then watch this. This video is dedicated to my friend, Darren Marion, who taught me most of these secrets. I love you, brother, and I miss you. All right, guys, what is going down? What is going down, y'all? All right, so this is going to be a great lesson. I don't know how exciting it's going to be. Well, actually, if you're trying to rank your website in the Google 3-pack, it's going to be very exciting, right? It's just, it's kind of cumbersome, and I'm talking about H1 tags and stuff like that, but... Uh, Every new site that I get, every new client that I get, their websites are set up wrong. And it's either because the websites were set up by a designer, uh, the client decided to watch a couple of uh, videos and do it themselves, or they just have an old website that they're just trying to rank. And just something that I want to say about that. There's a lot of programs these days where you just put your domain name inside of it, your website inside of it, you click a couple of buttons, you hit run, you pay $59 a month, and, you know, it promises you the world. I, I'm not here to disparage any of those type of programs. W what I'm trying to say is that if your on-page optimization is not correct, meaning that if you're a plumber in Orlando and you don't explain on your website what you do well enough and where you're from that 59 or 599 dollar program just isn't going to work optimally the most important thing that you could possibly do is work on your website and make sure that your website is optimized properly i really hope that makes sense because I get a lot of new clients that say, hey, you know, I had somebody work on my website. I just want you to work on my, um, I just want you to work on my, my Google My Business, my GMB. I just, I just want you to work on that. My website's fine. Well, your website, if you think about like a racing car, your website is the gas inside the car, right? It fuels the car. If you have crappy fuel, I'm sorry, you're just not going to complete the race and you're not or you're not going to complete it optimally. So it's really important that if you're going to run this race and this is the Google Maps race that you have the correct fuel and your website is the fuel. I hope that makes sense, right? Okay. So I use a program called uh, Less Annoying CRM and what I did was I created rules for my team on when we create a website, rather than keep giving instruction, what I did was I created rules for my team. I'm giving you these rules so you could, um, you could use the same uh, uh, form that I use to create uh, the websites and, and create the on-page optimization. So there's going to be a link in the description below. So I just want to go over this. I'm not going to go through everything because I'm not going to go through every single um, section because it's going to get a bit cumbersome. But I'm going to give you the example. I'm going to give you, I'm going to screenshot my CRM with all, with everything. This is everything that I do to optimize my websites. And then I'm going to give you the example site. So if there's something in the CRM that you don't understand, you could reference it with the uh, example website and you could go, okay, oh, the H3 tag, that's this one, that's this one. Okay. So, uh, and listen, I'm always open for uh, questions. If you have a question, feel free, email me at uh, brettmoletta at gmail.com. I'd be happy to get back in touch with you. If you found this lesson helpful, right, you could uh, like and subscribe to the channel. All right, so enough talking. Like I said, I use less annoying CRM. You could create a spreadsheet out of, out of what I have on my CRM. I use this because my team is scattered throughout all over the world. So this is a central place that we all log into and we make notes in it. I created a company called Sample Company. 
you can tell I w I'm not that creative this morning. <laughs> but uh, all right, so I created Sample Company, and in Sample Company, we're gonna we're gonna say that it's a plumbing company. We want to know what the GM what are the GMB categories, right? So if you're a brand new plumber, you're gonna head over to Google. You're gonna type in plumber, and you want to know what the GMB category is. Now, the main GMB category that everybody's ranking for plumber, the GMB category is plumber, right? See it right here? Okay, so we now need additional, uh, we now need additional categories. So we have plumber, which is one. And now we need additional category so let's go over to this website it's called plepper right uh, I already have it loaded here for you so you don't have to so you go to plepper.com right and if you just go to uh, where is the tools yeah you go to Google my business uh, category helper and you'll be on this page and when you scroll down Right here, you put in the category. So if you're a criminal defense lawyer, you're a plumber, you're an electrician, you just type that in. Now, you click plumber, right? And these are the other categories that you should be. So for example, heating contractor, HVAC uh, contractor, air condition, right? Drainage service. Right. OK, so these are the additional categories that go along with plumber. Now, these do change. <laughs> these do change. But for now, these are the categories. Right. So what I do is I take in a heating contractor. Right. I could take in heat contract. I put in heating contractor and so on and so forth. I put the rest of the GMB categories. I want to store them in this uh, lack of a better term, a spreadsheet. Then there are different keyword pages. So for example, uh, drainage or clogged toilet bowls. I'm not a plumber, so I don't know. This is just an example. Right? Clogged toilet bowls. I spelled toilet wrong. Okay, cloud toilet bowls, right? And so on and so forth. Um, these are the different type of, of keyword pages that I'm trying to rank for. Maybe, uh, you know, another one is a 24 hour plumber. 24 hour plumber or a plumber near me, which is tricky, but you know, okay. All right. So this is how you fill this out. Like I said, there's a link below. All you have to do is click it and you'll see a sample and then you could create a spreadsheet of, of uh, what I have here. All right. So what I like to do is I put the start, when we get a new project, I put the start date in, right? When I'm gonna start it and when, when I think I'm gonna complete it. So for example, I'm gonna start on the 30th. It usually takes me about, eh, about 10 days or so to finish a project, right? Priority, I'll put high. Right, project value is this a template or a custom job? Right, and now I start getting over here, I start getting to the home page meta title. So, the home page meta title is the GMB category plus the keyword plus the city and the brand. Okay, so what does that mean? So, I have, I'm just going to close this out for a moment. Right, I'm just going to close this out. I have a sample site that I did. So this is called the H1 tag, right? This is called the H1 tag. And it's, see what I did here? Plumber, fast and efficient service, uh, plumbing service in Orlando, Florida. So that is the H1 tag, and that encompasses everything that I said. Yeah, you could put uh, a plumber, 24-hour uh, emergency service, right? This is just a little something that I just thought of real quick, right? 
So what I'll do is I'll take that, I'll copy it, and I will just put it right here. Okay, so it's really important to have the GMB category, right, the keyword, and the, and the uh, area that you surf. That should be in the H1 tag. Now, guys, something that I see all the time is people still have a home link. Everybody knows that you could click the logo to come back home. That's a waste of real estate right here. Do not have a home link, please, on your website. There's no reason for it. Everybody knows that they could click the logo to come back. Now, underneath the logo, what I like to do is add a little Google pin and just say where they're located. Right? So somebody logs on the website and it says 1010 Main Street. He goes, okay, well, that's right around the block. Well, 1010 Main Street, that's, uh, you know, 30 miles from me. Well, they're the best. Or, nah, I could, I could hire somebody else. Like, like people want to know where you're located. And I think it's really important to have your, your address underneath the logo. As well as the phone number always on the left-hand side and huge. Right? and take out your Facebook and your Instagram and your Twitter and everything else. Those are shiny objects and they, they distract the user. They'll click the Facebook and before you know it, they're on their kid's Facebook and they forgot all about you. Take all the social media and put it on the bottom. We just want one call to action. We want them to call. We don't want them to call or log in or you know, do 200 things. I always give the example about um, I always give the example about pulling up to a gas station and having you know ten choices for gas unleaded ninety three percent ninety four percent ninety five percent you know so on and so forth it's just too many choices give the give your user one choice if they're logging onto your website right give them one choice. And everybody, most everyone's going to say is they just want the local plumber and the, the lawyer and the electrician, they just want calls. So if you just want calls, why are you putting your phone number in the upper left-hand corner in 0 0.6 font? Right? It doesn't make sense. Make it nice and big. Make it a different color. And put it right underneath your H1 tag right here. Because it looks super sexy on your uh, on, on, on a mobile device. Okay. So these are the homepage important items, right? The name, address, and phone number under the logo. The H1 tag has the GMB category, the geo, and a phrase. The H2 is the most important keyword for that GMB category. So your H2 is what example what exactly does a plumber do, right? That's the most important, that's the most important uh, keyword that we're trying to rank for. Remember, when you create your homepage, your homepage should be only about your, your GMB category, the main GMB category. In this case, it's plumber. So what I mean by that is everything on your homepage should be about plumber. What exactly does a plumber do, right? What exactly does a DUI lawyer do? What exactly does an electrician do? Then you want a picture of a plumber. So what you want to do is whatever area you're in, so for example, Google, and you type in plumber, this is real important, guys. I'm going to end the lesson right here. I think I'm going to break this lesson up. In a couple of a couple of uh, stages is I want you to go over to images and you notice that it is just a it, look these are uh, stock pictures of somebody underneath a sink right so this is the type of image that we have somebody with a wrench and and, and they're doing something here right those appear to be the pictures. Now I'm out in Tampa. Maybe when we did it for for Orlando, these pictures are different. If you go to Utah, these pictures are going to be different. If if you're searching from there, okay, they all appear to be occasion um, 
Caucasian men underneath a sink. So if you're trying to rank for plumber in, in Orlando, let's see if they change. Watch what I mean. Plumber in Orlando. Let's see what the pictures look like. See, the pictures changed, right? So you want to take a picture that makes sense. These appear to be more scattered, but still the theme is either a van or somebody under a sink. I don't think you could go wrong with, with, with somebody underneath a sink for that keyword, but you got to check the pictures. You can't put pictures of your kids on your, on your website because you think they're cute. They are, but put that on Facebook. Don't put it on your website, right? When you're trying to rank in Google and you're trying to rank in the Google three pack, put in your keyword and see what pictures Google sees relevant for that term. Plumbers in Orlando, these are the pictures that they see re relevant. All right, guys. So as you can see, I've linked my entire uh, process here in, uh, in my CRM. I just screenshot it for you. And what you could do is you could just take each piece and put it in a spreadsheet and use it as each time you do a website, it could go through your website, use it as a, as a checklist. It's extremely helpful for ranking in the Google 3-pack. Like I said earlier in the video, the, um, the website is the gas. You have to have a good website. You have to have uh, your website set up correctly. And um, this checklist will ensure that you, uh, that you have everything correct. Everything's here, guys. Just go, just go page by page, uh, you know, section by section. Every single thing is here. Every single thing is here for you. So just use it. Let me know how you how you did. Please leave a comment. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And this is great. This is all great stuff. The most important thing is your family. The most important thing is telling your, your wife and your kids that you love them and that you're good to them and you help out around the house. All right? Uh, everything else is, is gravy. If you could, you know, if you could also have, be a successful business person, that's great. But the most important thing is your family. And I'm just too happy that I'm able to help you and, um, and help you rank. And, and I really hope that this helps you. And we will see you next time. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.